In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 22, he says, So I saw that there is nothing better for a person than to enjoy their work because that is their lot. For who can bring them to see what will happen after them? I'm going to go into the second chapter of this sermon series entitled simply going into your new chapter approaching your new chapter father in the name of jesus i pray that you be glorified the body be edified and the devil horrified in the name of jesus we pray and all of god's people said amen you may be seated in the beauty of holiness as i uh Get ready to close out 58, walk into 59 next week. I am actually, for the life of me, actually excited about the next chapter. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm graduating. I, it feels like some type of celebration is going on, and it's, a, it's an exciting. Normally, I don't get excited about birthdays. Anything folks ask you what you want us, whatever you want to give me, that kind of thing. That's usually how I do it. Uh, but but I'm excited about this, and, and and I really it's not a a a a a, a thing for party or anything. This I'm just glad that I'm comfortable in my own skin. I I I I don't know about you, but there have been times in 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 life where you are trying to live up to other people's expectations, and you you know you you're trying to appease people and trying to please people that you can't never please and you 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 trying to do good but evil is still always present and you know you're doing for folks and they don't appreciate a doggone thing that you do for them have i got anybody in here and so i i i've come to the conclusion tim that there's just some things in your life you don't even need to apologize for any longer and the first one is my feelings. My feelings. The Bible portrays both God and humans as having feelings. God created people with emotions and affection. Uh, feelings play a significant role in our lives and relationships, including our relationship with God. Traditionally, Christians are, are, are cautioned not to trust your feelings, but when submitted to the Holy Ghost, Human emotions and sentiments, both positive and negative, can serve a purposeful function. Since humans are created in the image of God, it's reasonable to assume that our feelings reflect God's character. God feels compassion. He expresses joy and delight. God experiences anger and grief and distress because of all and because of the fall of man, human feelings have become damaged. And that's where sin comes in. But aren't we glad that through Jesus Christ, we can be redeemed and restored. But, 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 but don't expect anyone to understand your journey because they have never walked in your shoes. Amen, somebody. See, I, I, our feelings are, 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 are a complicated mixture of how we have perceived our experiences. And we wonder sometimes how others can move on in their lives while we're still stuck in the dumps with the blues. How, how can someone knowingly do you wrong and then come up in your face smiling like they ain't, haven't did nothing? Uh, or, or, and, and then when you express how you feel, you become the bad guy. Uh, and let, so let me help you here right now. Don't let nobody define how you feel. And don't let nobody dictate how you should feel. Amen, somebody. Somebody shout, my feelings are my feelings. Come on, say that again. My feelings are my feelings. Because, you know, that's, you know, there's a lot of people who, 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 who don't realize that they're their, 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 their feelings are nothing more than a gauge or a check engine light. And when the check light engine or check engine light comes on and you just keep ignoring the problem, then get mad because your car won't start, 
Dummy, how long does the engine have to say, check me? Our feelings are our internal gauges that let us know when things are going right and when things are going wrong. And I will tell you and give you this freedom and liberty today, you are entitled to feel how you feel. But you are not entitled to affect or infect my feelings. Y'all didn't talk back to me here. See, 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 see. If you want to be mad, be mad by yourself. If you want to be miserable, be miserable by yourself. If you want to be messy and ignorant and petty and nasty, you more than welcome to feel how you want to feel. But what you ain't going to do, y'all not talking back to me here, is drag me down there with you. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, see, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be joyful. I'm going to be at peace. And when I'm feeling down, I'm going to look to the hills from which cometh my help, because all my help come from the Lord and not you. Y'all not hearing me. And, see, see, and, the, and the next thing you need to do with your feelings is notice that your feelings are connected to your boundaries. And the, the most obvious way the Bible puts boundaries on display is almost so obvious that it's easy to miss. God set the world in motion with boundaries. There is a law or a rule that the world must follow. In the very beginning, God started by creating boundaries. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw it was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. That was boundaries. He said, boundaries for day and night and for land and water he set boundaries even for us he told us that we would have rule over uh -huh, and, and he also told us what to eat and not to eat later in scripture god governs his people and shows us how boundaries are, are meant to protect us and invite us into healthy relationships with not just him but with other folks and even jesus clearly demonstrated boundaries throughout his life on earth. He, he often set boundaries by showing us that uh, he needed to go and be alone at times. And, and we read, but Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. And some conversations are, are just meant only to be in between us and God. Others we see can happen with trusted friends, but even Jesus cautions us with that boundary. He, he had varying levels of trust with didn't be. He didn't talk to Judas like he talked to Peter. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Uh, hey, he also didn't give anything to just anybody. Oh, it's quiet in here now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What are you saying, Bishop? Enjoy your space. Everybody don't need to be in all your business. That includes your mama, your daddy, your siblings, your relatives, and definitely not your so-called friends. Stop posting everything on Facebook, X, Instagram, and Twitter. Come on, talk back to me here. Some, 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 things, some, 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 some things you just need to keep to yourself. Because Tim, I found out this. There's a reason why we wear clothes to create boundaries. Matter of fact, there's a reason why we wear underwear. Y'all not talking back to me here. Uh -huh. To create boundaries. And here in the United States, there's this whole big brouhaha about securing our borders because there is a criminal element that illegally crosses over the border to bring harm to our country. Drugs, especially fentanyl, are a huge problem that I agree must be addressed. But then there is another element of desperate people seeking a better life for their families that are willing to work and be an asset instead of a liability. Follow me, because I'm going somewhere with this. Uh -huh. The solution, said Tammy, is, is pretty simple. Uh -huh. It's something our mothers instilled to daughters for ages. Stop giving away the milk 
if you don't want the cow. If you give the illegals shelter, food, clothing, jobs, and benefits before they become illegal, there is no incentive, incentive for them to become legal. Just like if you're showing everything you have and don't have, uh-huh, giving the man the milk and the cookies, uh-huh, let him sleep in your house and his mama done already kicked him out, let him drive your car and he don't even have a license or, or a permit, y'all not talking back to me here, uh-huh, uh-huh, eating up food and he's the one who's eligible for food stamps, baby girl, it's time to set boundaries. Put some panties on, a bra on, a slip on and a girdle. Y'all not talking back to me here. So some of y'all wearing some stuff and it's not sexy, it's just nasty and tea. Everything you wear don't have to show every nook and cranny you have. Oh, it got quiet in here. Uh, uh, let me tell you a secret. A big booty is fine, but, but good food is better. I know that's right. Hey, amen, somebody. Because uh -huh. everything that's tight and right when you're young may not hold up so well after a while. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're going to need just a little bit more than a BBL to hold on to him. I know that's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, 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 Tim, when, 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 when a prostitute gets up to go to work, she looks the part, she dresses the part, and acts the part. When a wife gets up and goes to work, uh-huh, 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 yeah, uh-huh, she looks the part, dresses the part, and acts the part. The reason, young lady, why, why you keep attracting what you keep attracting is because every man that knocks on your door and says, trick or treat, you keep passing out candy. Oh, y'all not hearing me today. Uh-huh. Set some boundaries. Matthew chapter 5 says, Let your yea be yea, and your nays be nays. Number three, number three, number three. Uh, something you ain't got to apologize about no more? Saying no. Somebody shout that no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, 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 many of us feel obligated to say yes. We feel guilty if we don't say yes. We feel compelled if we don't say yes. But I just came to give you some relief today. It's okay to say no. Come on, shout it. No, 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 no. So, 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 some of you scared to say it. Come on, shout it. No. <laughs> see, a few years ago, our drummer had, had had enough. Each Sunday, he would run from church to church, sitting up and breaking down them drums. And one day, after having a great time in the first service, he was verbally attacked by an ungrateful preacher. And from that day forward, I want y'all to watch this, Isaiah, you gonna pack them drums up and drag them over to another church? Come, what would you say? No, no, he said no, uh-huh, uh-huh. Matter, matter, matter of fact, if you ask him, he'll be like, no, um, no, and get an attitude about it. He done set some boundaries. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, your feelings, you have to understand that your feelings draw your boundaries and your boundaries dictate what you will do and what you won't do. And you need to be honest with yourselves and others because sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, we doing stuff we don't even want to do. Come on, talk back to me. And, and now you don't got your word out there because your yay should be yay, uh huh. But the truth of the matter is, you've been lying to, to not only them but to yourself because your nays should be nay. Somebody shout no. No, 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 I'm not going there. No, I'm not doing this. No, I'm not giving you no money. No, I'm not taking care of your kids. No, I'm not going to give you. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Once you get that in your spirit, let me tell you, it'll bless you real good. Now you won't be running all over the place wearing yourself out. 
you know, trying to be pleasing others and they don't even say thank you. Somebody shout no. Oh. Number four is simply letting go when you need to. Some things and some people are not worth your time. Oh, yes, Lord. I can think I can need to get my amen chair out here today. Uh -huh. Some folks you love, but you don't like. <laughs> Some things you do because you feel you have to, but not because you want to. Uh, let me help you again. You ain't got to do nothing but stay black and die. People will have you feeling guilty to do for them when they need to learn how to do for themselves. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, there's a difference in between a man, me giving you a handout, and me helping you and showing you a way out. See, see, when Peter, when 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 Peter and John went to the temple, he 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 told that beggar, silver and gold have I none. Listen, babies, even if I got the money, I'm not giving it to you because the truth of the matter is, I work for this and I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, Y'all not talking back to me. He said, but but what I have, I'll give to you. And he reached out his hand. And he said, pick, and he, and he helped him up. And I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but there's a difference in between a handout and a way out. See, see, if I give you a fish, you're only going to eat for a day. But if I teach you to fish, you'll eat for a lifetime. There's some things you just got to say, no, 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 and let it go. And finally, finally to this morning, uh, uh, this is a good one here. You need to learn how to heal at your own pace. Heal at your own pace. Everybody trying to rush you. And some things were just traumatic. They were devastating. And you needed time to heal. Because the truth of the matter is, hurt people hurt people and, and many of us jump up jumping from this one to that one and you still hurt and you're wondering why you're damaging this relationship and that relationship and this friendship and this and that friendship jumping from church to church let me ask you let me, because you are not healed if you don't heal yourself you cannot be a blessing to others there's no way that I would be able to take care of what I take care of unless I first take care of myself I know that's right uh -huh. Uh -huh. and many of us are damaged not only emotionally but financially, oh, help me today, huh? And we're financial, and we're not financially healed. And the next thing you know, you're going from broke to broker, uh huh, instead of broke, uh huh, to rich. He said, "I was gonna make you the head, not the tail, uh huh, uh huh." But but wait a minute, you still got to learn that word one more time. Shout it, no. Because the truth of the matter is, when David asked the Lord to fill his cup. He said, Lord, fill my cup. Somebody shout, my cup. Now, now, if it's my cup, that's for me. You don't be drinking out of my cup. You don't sip out of my cup. You don't take nothing out of my cup. Why? Because it's whose cup? Uh -huh. if that, if when God fills your cup, that's just for you. But David went around and he said, he come around and he said, fill my cup and let it overflow uh-huh see 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 what's in my cup is for me my overflow you're more than welcome to yeah see that's 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 the reason that's, and you want to know something ladies and gentlemen many of us have been giving away stuff and that's why we're empty all the time but here's the thing i want to tell you to do you need to heal at your own place make sure that you are healed first make sure that you are full make sure that you love yourself make sure that you are, are taking care of yourself make sure that 
makes you comfortable in your own skin. But then after that, then you can bless somebody else because now you've got overflow. As I close here this morning, I, 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 I remind myself of many chapters in my life where that's all I did was just give out, give out, give out. Every time you turn around, I was giving time, energies, and resources. Time, energy, and resources. Until the time, until I got to a place, I was just all burnt out. The only thing I wanted to do was go hide somewhere. Anybody ever in, in been in here where you just didn't want to be bothered? Hey, you, you just want to be by yourself. You ain't bothering nobody. Hey, but, 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 but then you got all these people around you. They just needy. Wanting more and more out of something they never put in. And it's hard, ladies and gentlemen, to operate in life in a deficit. You need to make sure that you have enough in you before you can give it out to anybody else. There are so many of us in here right now, if we could just make up in my, our mind as we turn the pages of our lives, you know what? I've been there, done that, got a t-shirt, and ain't going back no more. Uh, we have to make up in our mind enough is enough. We need to make up in our mind, uh, you get like Popeye, this is all I can stand. I can't stand no more. Put your hand on your hip, make your backbone slip, stand on their toes, look up their nose and tell them no. Somebody shout no. Uh -huh. Because at the, in, at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, they'll be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you, if you didn't wake up this morning, they would be fine again. Come on, let's just be honest here. Because, so you ain't got to, you, you won't have to have people leaning on you all all the time and I, I'm so glad I'm so comfortable in my skin I don't know what to do I, I, I mean I really I, I, it's, some, it, it, it's something about getting past 50 you know you just say whatever you want to say <laughs> and let the chips fall where they may <laughs> yeah, you, you know because, because at the end of the day you know there are certain things in your life I might as well go all the way with it you don't have to tolerate with everything you don't have to put up with folks' bad attitudes and nasty de demeanors and, and ungratefulness. And you ain't got to put you ain't got to put up with that. Not at all. No, ma'am. No, sir. You ain't got to tolerate that. And, and like 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 you need them. Wait a minute. If you check the record. They always calling you. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if that if that's the case, if you don't have to put up with any nonsense, tomfoolery, or, or, or shenanigans. Instead, you need to stand on the word of God, knowing that the trying of your faith is going to work patience. And when patience has her good work, you're going to be entire, wanting nothing. The lesson that you need to learn in this page of your life is to be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath, knowing this much that God is going to work all things mm -hmm, together for your good. I'm reminded of an old story about some tools in a carpenter's shop. And in there was a hammer, a screwdriver, a saw and some nails uh, you know how how we are uh, we get to fighting amongst one another and so the screwdriver one day went over to the hammer and said hammer you need to leave because you just make a whole lot of noise you just bang bang and bang well the hammer got offended and got ready to leave and but you know how we are we're not gonna leave unless we take somebody with us and so he looked back and he said to the screwdriver well you need to come along with me and uh, the screwdriver said why and he he said because all the thing you do is lay there until somebody picks you up 
turns you around and around and around. Well, screwdriver went to the door and got ready to leave, but he looked back and he saw the saw. He said, I might as well start some mess before I leave. And he said, Saul, you must come on along with us. The Saul said, why? He said, because the only thing you do is wait for a new piece of wood to come here so you can cut it up. And so the Saul got offended and he went to the door and he said, wait a minute, I got one more person to pick on. And so he looked at the nails and he says, nails, mm -hmm. you might as well come along with me as well because uh, you are, only thing you do is got a flat head, you're level, and you always come to a point. And the truth of the matter is we all have different gifts, different talents. We've lived different experiences. We live in different lives. See, the hammer knew that the reason why he made so much noise is because the word of God said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. The screwdriver knew that he wasn't no good until somebody picked him up and turned him around and around. Yeah. The saw was just messy because he was jealous because other people were coming in and they thought was going to take his place so he would cut him up. And then the nail, it was just telling the truth because the truth will set you free. And I don't know about you, but God has each and every one of us. And so those tools, when the carpenter came back, he saw all of his tools sitting outside of the box and he picked up the hammer he picked up the screwdriver he picked up the saw he picked up the nail and he put it all in his toolbox and he went out to build a house guess what he did he grabbed a hammer to tighten the wood grabbed the screwdriver to tighten the wood called the saw a good God to cut the wood matter of fact he used the nails to hold good God the wood together and what did that carpenter do he said all things work together for good to them that love the Lord I'm out of here I'm going back Give me another nap. But before I do, I just wonder, is it all right if we give God a praise for our past? Give God a praise for our present. Give God a praise for our future. For our latter shall be greater than our past. Our good days is going to outweigh our bad days, our ups is going to be better than our downs. Matter of fact, I'm so glad better days are coming. Yeah, better days are coming. Yeah, better days, yes, they are. They're coming, and when they come, I'm going to step into my blessing. Step into my miracle step into my breakthrough step into everything what god has for me because i heard that god has for me it is for me i know without a doubt god will bring me out what god has for me it is for me. Come on, let's give God some praise for the word of God on this morning. Morning, man.